Hey y'all, today we are traveling in Toronto. I'm on a cash carnival crusade for 10 geocaches worth over 50 favorite points in a mission to earn all of the cash carnival geocaching souvenirs and have loads of fun while at it. Way back in 1833, when Toronto was still called York, the very first post office was erected by James Scott Howard, the postmaster of York. When York became Toronto, 9,000 people were served by this post office. It moved to a new location in 1839, but the building was used until 1978, when it was gutted by a fire. Hey, I was born in 78. I wonder if there's a connection. This property was soon privately purchased and restored, and by 1981 it was made a National Historic Site due to its history. It reopened in 1983 on its 150th birthday, and today it's used as a museum and as a post office. Oh, and a geocache, of course. A letterbox hybrid to be exact. And this cache currently has 69 favorite points. It was just published January 31st this year, and it's a one and a half one. So, it really shouldn't be too hard. Let's go find it. All right, so I'm at the posted coordinates of the letterbox and this one has a first stage, which is to get some information off the plaque, right there. The answer to this question tells me how many steps I need to walk to get to the front steps to the museum. <laughs> I think I found the answer, so now to try to find the entrance. One, two, four. Oh, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh, did it again. Lost count. Okay, so I found my way inside, and the instructions kind of make it sound like it might be in here. Do I want to put my hand in here? There is actually a whole lot of really cool stuff in this little cache. Boat Jose. Even some going caching cards. These are trading cards from 2016 and 2018 from the going caching mega event. There's even a trackable coin from, where is it from? <laughs> I have no idea where it's from. Holy cow, we've got a whole farm here. <laughs> Now the tradition with letterboxes is that every cache comes with a stamp and an ink pad so that in your own uh, letterbox logbook you can use their stamp and record your find. And I found this stamp for this cache and it kind of makes me wish that I did letterboxing. All right, time for me to sign this awesome logbook, drop a few things of my own in here, and then I'm done. Here's something I just learned. So this is King Street, one of the main streets. Over here is Young Street, the longest street. Is it in the world, I think? But Young Street comes down here and meets Front Street. Front Street is one of the major streets of Toronto, but it's right at the coastline. Today, Toronto comes all the way down here. They built up over the water, over the lake.
So awesome bonus here. That cache is also inside a business. And Cache Advance and the Geocaching Vlogger just started up again the Geo Challenge of the Month. And April's challenge is to find a cache inside a building, in a front yard, and this one qualifies. Woohoo! Can I fit it in frame? Yes! 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 So I just realized there are no caches here that I need. I've already found them all, so I'm kind of left out in the cold. But, literally, <laughs> I still can't believe that just 200 years ago, all of this was like standing on water. Water. That's a whole lot of man-made land. <laughs> that is a very loud helicopter. But that's all I've got for you for this video. So until next time, as always, happy caching and excellent adventure. Uh, I'm on a cash carnival. Cash carnival? <laughs> and this cache currently has 69 favorite points. It was just published. <laughs> I think I found the answer, so now time to try the find. I think I found the answer, so now to talk. <laughs> I found it. And on that note, there's a helicopter right up there somewhere.